here we are. We have made it back to Kansas City. We are, well, I am standing on the dam of my parents' beautiful background pond with the fall foliage changing behind me. It is a beautiful, beautiful October day. And thank you for tuning in. I know there's a lot of anticipation because you guys want to know where No Ordinary Path is heading to next. Well, stay tuned because we're going to announce it in just a second. To compact or not to compact? What does that mean? Um, I'm John and today is not your typical Real Talk Tuesday. This is going to be another Travel Nurse Takeover Tuesday. So you guys want to know where we're going? We, since we live in the RV, need to stay warm during the winter. So we chose one of the warm states. Kristen and I and our family loves the West and you can't get more west than Arizona. So we will be traveling to Arizona for our next contract, specifically to an area called Sun City, which is my understanding is kind of like a suburb of Phoenix. Um, I'm going to be working at one of the Banner Health Facilities, uh, Banner Del Webb. I'm pretty excited about it. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be taking another ICU contract days there. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm excited. So I wanted to come to you guys and talk a little bit about a question that one of our subscribers, Jason, had. So first of all, special thanks to Jason for coming up with this question and kind of reaching out to me. The official term is the Enhanced Nursing Licensure Compact. And what this is, is that a group of states have gotten together and have said, look, let's make it easy on nurses and some other medical professionals. And let's say one license that they earn that is, allows them to travel throughout these different states and continue their same practice level and scope of practice in those different states. So for example, Colorado is part of the nurse compact. If I was living in Colorado and I got my nursing license, went to school in Colorado, got my nursing license in Colorado, that would allow me to have that one Colorado license and go to, I believe it's 28, maybe 29 states currently that are part of the whole thing, the whole compact, to go to any one of those states and practice within my nursing scope of practice. Each year, it seems like more states are getting added to it, and hopefully, eventually, we'll all be one happy United States full of nurse compact licensure. In the meantime, you have the compact, and then you have the non-compact states. The non-compact states are the states that are, it's pretty obvious, to have decided not to become part of that for now. Kansas is not currently part of the compact licensure. However, it has legislation pending so that in July of 2019, Kansas becomes part of it. I am not a compact licensed nurse. If you are not in one of those states that participates in the compact, can you do it? Can you even become a travel nurse? Obviously you can, because I did. It just means that there may be a little bit more work for you, but it's not difficult. So you want to be a travel nurse. You're not part of the compact. Here's what you do. When I decided to do this, and we were calling Kansas our primary home, I needed to apply for nursing licenses in each state that I wanted to go to. So for example, for this last contract we did in Baltimore, which is in Maryland, I, Maryland is part of the compact, but because Kansas, where I'm from, is not, I have to apply for that individual state license. So I go on their nursing board website, and I say I want to apply for a license by endorsement because I already am an RN, and I just fill out the application, I pay for the fees, I pay for typically what you're going to see whenever you apply for a new nursing license is fingerprints, background checks, the administrative fees. You're looking at around 150 to 250, sometimes $300 for each individual license that you're going to apply for. Now, those are paid for by your travel agency if you end up taking a contract in that state. You are going to be applying for individual licenses. You want to apply, or well, you can apply for anywhere, right? You can apply for any of those things. I've mentioned that before. But there are some states that have advantages over other ones. 
uh, states that are what's called quick license states. Things like Maryland is one, Arizona is another. There are several. If you have questions, talk to your recruiters. They're going to be able to give you a list of who's where. So the quick license states are basically states where you can get your nursing license within a month worth of time. Uh, there are the opposite of quick license states. The epitome of that would be good old California. Beautiful place. There is a lot of money to be made in traveling in California, but it can take anywhere from three to six months out there to get a nursing license. I know it's crazy. Um, within the quick license states, there are a few that are even faster that are called walkthrough states. Arizona is a walkthrough state. Now, I didn't really take advantage of this because it's technically, according to the Arizona Board of Nursing, supposed to be used as uh, kind of an emergency type of thing, you know, for emergency staffing and that kind of stuff. But you can take a contract that you have, your fingerprints, your application, all the things that you need, and you could take it to the physical location of the Arizona Board of Nursing, slap it on the desk, and within 48 hours, as long as everything checks out and you don't have any you know, ticks on your license and stuff, you have a temporary nursing license within your hands in two days. That's crazy, guys. If I live in a state that does participate in a compact license, Am I only allowed to work within those states that do participate in that compact? The answer to that question is absolutely not. No, you can certainly go outside of the compact. What it does mean is that you'll have to apply for the individual state license and go through that process and then take your contract there. Travel nurse companies will not reimburse you just for the license unless you take a contract in that state. What about the opposite though? If you're not a compact licensed nurse, like if you live in California and you want to work in one of the compact states, can you do that? Absolutely. Same thing, everything applies. Basically, it comes down to this. If you are a nurse in the United States, you have your registered nurse license, you can work anywhere you want as long as you are willing to apply for those individual licenses at any state. It's very exciting, lots of fun places to see and travel. We are super excited about what's coming up on the channel. Um, hopefully this answers some questions for some people. I know this idea of getting licenses and applying and searching for jobs and stuff can be stressful. Um, it's really not that bad, you guys. It, it's pretty simple. We had a contract in our hands pretty fast. So um, yeah, stick with it. If you want to do it, man, it's amazing. You get to see so much awesome things, meet really cool people. So on that note, stay tuned because next Week, I'm going to be giving my review of Sinai Hospital in Baltimore. Look forward to it. I look forward to doing it and I will catch you guys next time.